hello what's up youtube in this tutorial i want to show you how you can easily retouch complex or complicated images like this one within photoshop so i'm just going to be showing you and at the end of this video you're going to be able to retouch any image if at all you can retouch this specific one within photoshop so let me just show you a quick before and after so this is the image before and this is the after before after before after so i'm using photoshop 2020 I'm just going to come and delete these two layers so that we can start everything from uh, the very start. So I'm just going to delete these layers. So this is the image that we have right now. So I'm just going to be using frequency separation as a skin retouching technique to retouch this very image. So I'm just going to come right here. And I'm going to uh, create two layers from the background by hitting Ctrl Command J twice. And I'm going to double click right here and I'm going to name this to low. Just going to use caps and I'm going to name this to high. Remember, frequency separation divides the image into the textures and the colors. So I'm just going to only retain the colors in the low frequency layer by turning off the high frequency layer and select, selecting the low frequency layer. Then coming to filter, blend, complication, blur. So I'm just going to take the radius all the way down and I'm going to move up to a point when the details in this image are going to start getting glossed so the major details for example the skin texture until when it starts getting glossed from the image so just to take it up so at around six six we are good to go so don't take the radius all the way up because you're going to lose out and get unnatural results when you take it all the way up so i'm just going to use a radius of six and i'm going to simply hit ok then come to the high frequency layer and activate it then come right here to image and come down to apply image and right now i only want to retain the textures in the high frequency layer right here so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come to the low frequency layer because i want to extract the details from the low frequency layer and come to the blend mode and since this is a 16-bit image you have to change the blend mode to add opacity at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask and object Make sure that the scale is 2 and offset 0 and make sure you turn on the invert option. But if at all you have an 8-bit image, if at all you have 8 right here, you can come and make sure you select the low frequency layer. Make sure the channel is RGB and you select subtract and make sure the opacity is 100%. Pre preserve transparency and mask cannot check and the scale has to be 2 and offset 128 but the invert option is not checked in this case and you are going to be having this gray layer but i have 16 bit right here and i'm just going to change it to add the scale is to offset zero and i invert this and i'll have the same results just come and simply hit ok come and change the blend mode from normal to linear light and this is the image that we had initially before so after doing that i'm just going to group these two layers by selecting them and holding down control command and you click on both layers and you drag them into this folder icon to put them in a group and i'm going to name my group to frequency separation so it is time for retouching and for this case i'm just going to open up the frequency separation group and select the low frequency layer and come and get the mixer brush tool so come under the brushes and get the mixer brush tool and make sure the hardness is at zero percent and the brush has to be clean and select this option which says clean the brush after each and every stroke the weight i'm going to be using is going to be nine percent the load is 75 the mix at 90 and the flat 100 percent and i'm going to make sure that sample alias is not checked because i only want to work on the skin tones or the colors in the low frequency layer and i don't want to sample any textures and paint them in the low frequency layer so make sure sample alias is not checked and if at all your mixer brush tool is showing this cross icon, make sure you turn off the caps lock key by just clicking it. So after doing that, I'm just going to come and I'm going to turn off the high frequency layer and zoom out the image slightly. And I'm going to start evening out colors that look alike in this image. So by reducing the size of the mixer brush tool and increasing it using the open and close brackets on the keyboard, I'm going to simply come and start painting. And you can see the image looks awkward as we start painting but the more plastic it looks the better the results are going to be so come and make sure you paint colors that are looking alike 
and you have to move your mixer brush tool in a direction of uh, the area you're trying to work on in the image so just come and paint in and i'm basically trying to paint colors that are looking similar or alike in this image you can see some of the details are getting lost but that is because we have turned off the texture layer but when you come and turn it back on you can see the textures are still in the image so just come and turn this off because the textures or the textures tend to basically confuse us when you're trying to retouch that's why i have turned them off for the meantime so that i can work with the colors since i'm blending the colors using the mixer brush tool in the low frequency layer. so i'm just going to come and i'm going to paint those colors just like that and you can see the mixer brush tool is doing a pretty nice and decent job i'm just going to come and paint right here on the forehead, forehead area and reduce on the size and work on a smaller area so you have to keep on playing with uh, different sizes of your mixer brush tool as you're trying to even out the transitions or as you're trying to blend the colors within uh, the skin of your subjects I'm just going to come and continue working right here reduce on the size and come right here and i'm going to work on these tones and don't forget the nose area you have to work on every area that has skin in this image so i'm just going to come and paint through just like that and you can see the skin right now looks fine and it looks okay but remember when i turn on the texture layer we still have the blemishes to work with so let me just work right here and i'm going to get done with this and turn on the texture layer just look at the before and the after so far we have tried to smoothen out most of the blemishes but now the challenge is removing the blemishes so in order to remove blemishes this is why you have to take maximum attention or pay maximum attention to this very tutorial just come to the texture layer because it contains the textures in the image and after selecting it just come to your clone sub tool and make sure the hardness is at around 20 percent and make sure it is uh, the blend mode is on normal the opacity and the flat 100 percent make sure align is selected and make sure you, the sample is current layer because only one to work on the current layer that has been selected so after making sure you have set this right zoom into the image so how the clone sum tool works and this is the most favorite tool you have to reduce on the size and make sure it is relatively bigger than the blemish you want to eliminate and how to eliminate hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and when you hold down the alternate key on the keyboard simply left click on a clean area and release both the alternate and the left click button on your mouse and simply come over the blemish and left click over it to get rid of it so i'm just going to be doing this as you're looking at this and later on i'm going to be forwarding because i don't want you to take a long time right on this very tutorial so let me just try to clean up these blemishes and remember blemish removal contributes over 30 percent to your overall retouched image so i'm just going to so basically a quick recap i'm just removing the blemishes by holding down call alternate rather on the keyboard close to the blemish and left clicking to sample that clean area and simply releasing both the alternate and the left click and simply left clicking over the blemish to get rid of it so i'm just going to be forwarding this blemish removal process because i don't want you to be bored with this very process and i'll be back when we are done cleaning up or removing the blemishes uh, from this very image so let me just forward this and i'll see you in a bit hello what's up youtube hope you're still locked on this tutorial 
you can see I've done most of the blemish removal and cleaning up for uh, this very image and you can see how the image looks right now and look at the before and look at the after before after and this is what we have right now so basically I've been using a clone stamp tool to try and eliminate or clean up the blemishes from this very image so the next thing I'm going to do I'm just going to use the lasso tool to kindly or to slightly perfect what we have right here so I'm just going to come and get the lasso tool after selecting the low frequency layer and the feather I'm going to be using is 22 pixels with and ally selected and I'm going to select this option which says new selection mode and I'm going to come and start perfecting by selecting the areas of the skin so after doing that just come to filter blur and come to Gaussian blur so I'm just going to take this up up to when I feel like I'm a little bit comfortable with the results from uh, this very image so I'm just going to take this up slightly as I'm looking at the image to slightly perfect the results from the retouching process so at around 26 I feel like that is okay I'm going to hit okay and I'm going to apply it on the rest of the image so right click and come and apply Gaussian blur and do it for the rest of the areas that have skin in this very image so just going to come and select this particular area and you have to keep eye from the eyebrows and the hair area so just going to come and apply it right there and I'm also going to come and apply it on to the neck area right here and apply my Gaussian blur so I'm basically trying to perfect uh, the areas I may have missed out when I was using the mixer brush tool to retouch uh, this image so this is what we have right now and I feel like uh, this is okay so look at the before and after right for this image this is the image before and after before after so this is how you can retouch a very complicated image like this one and this is all for this tutorial and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you're watching and you don't subscribe this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thanks for watching I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating